Go back to TFNN.com. If you look right here on the services tab, we have two fantastic webinars. I want to bring your attention. We've gotten some traction with these recently. People have been absolutely loving them and so strongly recommend checking out these two webinars. I'm talking about the secret science of market tops. That's how to identify market tops and six secret ratios every trader should know by our man, Tim Ord. Tim Ord is the author of the Ord Oracle. You can check that out at ord-oracle.com. He comes here on the Tom O'Brien Show every Tuesday and Thursday to share with us his fantastic analysis. Uh, right now, let's take a look again. SPY trading up 0.49% at 645, and then you have gold trading up 0.46% at 2,654. Tim Ward, how are you doing? Good, good. So, almost Thanksgiving, so. <laughs> how about that? Uh, yeah, uh, years, years <laughs> fly by. So. Years just chugs along for sure. What are we looking yeah. at today, Tim? Well, let's, let's take a look at chart one. Um, chart one is uh, kind of watching this carefully. You know, there's a swag breast thrust indicator. This is something uh, similar. Uh, swag is not doing uh, the setup because it needs to get below 0.4. In this last decline, it didn't get below 0.4. Yep. But this indicator did. <clears throat> and uh, the bottom window is is uh, uh, the NYSC advanced the issues uh, divided by the uh, NYSC declining issues with a five day average and it needs to get down below 0.7 and it did on uh, November 15th and uh, to really have a signal kind of a sign of strength off this potential low you need this indicator to get above 3 and right now we're at uh, 2.19 looks like and I uh, noted the times before this chart goes back to uh, late 2022 and I noted the times when the indicator got below 0.7 then rallied above 0.3 and it's uh, 30 days so this if we can get uh, above point or 30 point or 3.0 uh, on December 15th or before that's 30 days this would uh, signal a sign of strength off of a low and that bodes well for the intermediate term. <clears throat> so you can see the previous times when this happened, usually that's the start of a multi-month rally, uh, you know, even longer. Okay. So I'm wondering if this indicator is going to trigger or not. And uh, if the market remains actually halfway healthy going over the next uh, couple of weeks here, that may trigger. So it hasn't triggered yet. Uh, but it did give a, a bullish signal at the last low, November 15th. It did get below 0 0.7, hit 0.68. Uh, so this indicator did trigger a bullish sign. Yeah, we need to get to uh, uh, 3.00 by December 15th, which is, okay. you know, um, so it hasn't happened yet. So we're kind of mid-signal. Will it happen? Don't know. But the market needs to actually be, uh, in general, keep this rally going. So it's an indicator I'm watching here. Uh, so I'm also kind of careful here on uh, several different indicators. You know, are we, since we're heading into a new year with a new president, uh, a lot of times there's changes, and the weakest uh, in the election cycle, the weakest uh, cycle is uh, the election of a new president. Sure. So that's actually next year. So I'll have to watch more carefully how that develops. So let's flip to chart two. Absolutely. Uh, this is a chart that actually does really well picking out highs, uh, which is the uh, uh, second window up from the bottom of the SPX VIX ratio. And normally when this ratio hits a, uh, the S&P is at a higher high. This is a weekly time frame. And the ratio hits a lower high, which happened back in July, August, September of this year. That was a bearish divergence. Uh, I, I was watching that, and it actually right now, that bearish divergence has gone away, and more or less we're in a bullish divergence where the S&Ps are making higher highs and this ratio is making higher highs. Even though it did form a bearish divergence in September, that bearish divergence went away. Okay. Uh, so the market, as uh, far as the SPX VIX ratio is concerned, uh, this is bullish. So nothing significant as far as the top is concerned there. So let's flip to short term here. Okay. Uh, uh, the next chart, chart number three, is just the SPY, uh, just kind of a short-term view. As the S&Ps make higher highs, which is the top window, uh, the VIX should make lower lows, and that's what's happening here. Uh, and if you notice, market, if today ends up 
will be up seven days in a row. Mm-hmm. That's you get that much momentum up seven days in a row it's kind of hard to achieve but over the last year it's kind of almost a common occurrence usually it's not the final highs usually you'll hit a higher high it used to be five days now it's taken uh, around 10 days so that helps to keep the trend up but we've been if today's up we'll be up seven days in a row there's about an 80 percent chance we'll be higher within the next 10 days so uh, it is, i hear the music yeah it is unbelievable how how strong this market has been tim stay right there folks we'll be right back with tim ord of the ord oracle right after this break Welcome back, everyone. This is Jacob Shoup. You're watching The Tom O'Brien Show. We are joined by the one and only Tim Ord, author of The Ord Oracle. Make sure to check his website out at ord-oracle.com after the end of programming today. Tim, before we went to the break, we were looking at the uh, SPY short term, talking about uh, potentially getting a seven day uh, in a row high, and if we do, what that kind of means. Right. Okay. So we've been up seven days in a row. What's, what's interesting, I didn't really get panicked uh, at the low about four or five days ago. Uh, but yesterday, out of the blue, we got a trend close of 1.25. We got, uh, and the ticks that day were negative 294. That's a bullish combination. Suggesting okay. a low will form uh, early as that day, which is yesterday, to as, two as, day, to as late as two days later, which will be tomorrow. But anyhow, uh, we did get panic, and we're panic. Uh, uh, we don't have a 10 day trend. But at least we've got a one-day trend. So at least on a short-term basis, plus with seven days up in a row, um, we're probably going to, at, at a minimum, rally for at least the next week. Uh, can we rally into the year end? And that's probably, uh, probably we, we will, because uh, seasonality-wise, this is the most bullish quarter of the year. So sure. of all the quarters, this quarter has the highest percentage of being up. So we got the VIX, very low level being down we got panic yesterday in the ticks and trend you got seven days up in a row so you got a lot of things you that are on the like or on the good side uh, for this market to continue rally so i remain bullish uh, uh short term and uh could be i'm, I'm kind of looking for intermediate term but really haven't got the signals yet to determine that sure. so anyhow bullish for now on the sp uh, sps at least a year end so we can move on to the gold here absolutely i think we should let's take a look what we got going on in the gold all right uh this chart is inflation deflation ratio uh made a triple bottom uh that's that shaded uh green area uh, the signal how to get a signal on this indicator is is the uh when the inflation deflation rsi falls below 30 and turns up it's a signal, and on November 15th, uh, we had a reading of 29.69. That was the low. The market has since rallied. So that's a buy signal on that type of indicator, and that red dotted lines across the chart show previous buy signals. Um, another type of buy signal is, is the chart number five. Uh, if you can pull that up. Yep. Uh, this is the uh, top one is GDX. Uh, next window down is a daily cumulative advanced decline with this Bollinger Band. Window below that is advanced cumulative advanced decline with this Bollinger Band. Bottom window is a GDX GLA ratio with the Bollinger Band. The signals are generated when three of the four, preferably all four, hit the upper lower upper upper Bollinger Band, which would be a top, or the lower Bollinger Band, which would be a bottom. And the blue lines are, are the cell signals, uh, the dotted lines blue dotted lines are sell signals and the dotted red lines are the buy signals in this shaded green area is the last time i think that came right around november 15th also all four of those indicators fell below uh the the lower bollinger band uh so that's another short-term buy signal um let's flip to chart uh six okay i want to get to chart seven this is but yeah, you know, this is a bigger buy signal again. This chart was triggered back in May of 2000, this year 2024, and uh, the bottom window is a monthly up-down volume cumulative. Uh, second window up is a monthly advanced line cumulative uh, with the Bollinger Bands, and signals are triggered when it falls b- below the Bollinger Bands, the sell signal, and when it pops above the Bollinger Bands, the buy signal, and those buy signals generated in May. So these signals last about a year and a half at a minimum. Some can last longer. Uh, so, you know, 
the dailies are on a buy signal, the weeklies are on a buy signal, the monthlies are on a buy signal. So let's flip to chart seven. This is kind of the chart I wanted to get to. Okay. <laughs> here's another uh, here's another buy signal on a short term basis. It's a little bit different, uh, but uh, this is what I want to talk about. Uh, the bottom window is advanced decline with an 18 day average. And the next window up is advanced up down volume with an 18 day average. When both those indicators fall below 40 and turn up, and all those lines, red lines in the past, are the times when those uh, were triggered. And this last one was triggered about May or uh, November 15th again. So it's kind of another short term uh, buy signal. This is usually a multi month buy signal, it's not usually uh, any shorter, but they're, they work pretty good. <laughs> But what I'm thinking to develop here, if we go to the top window, is GDX. And I think there's a head and shoulders bottom forming here where the head is the 2022 low uh, around approximately 20. And the neckline's up around 43, which is that red line up there. Yeah. And I, I think uh, head and shoulders pattern seems to work pretty well for GDX. GDX have kind of a different structure of what works for it. Uh, and this head and shoulders pattern seems to work. But if this is a head and shoulders pattern, we should see a sinus strength through that 43 area. And the measurement of this head and shoulders bottom would be the bottom of the head, which is around 20, to the neckline, which is, say, 43. So that's about 23 points. You add 23 points uh, to the neckline, which is around 43. You know, you get up in the mid-60s. Now, I'm right. thinking this is where this... Uh, GDX is going to go mid 60s. Uh, it's, uh, the pattern's pretty big. The head shoulders pattern works back to mid 2020, uh, so it's a large pattern uh, on a monthly time frame. Buy signal. We got a rally. It's going to at least last for the next 12 months. Uh, uh, so I, I think the next 12 months, well, we get to 60, 65. I think there's possibly a good good chance because once you break the neckline you should see a sign of strength and that's usually kind of an impulse way through that line so I think that's what's going to come uh, probably in the next several weeks uh, you know maybe first part of next year uh, I think it's going to approach that 42 43 area and actually accelerate so uh, there's a lot of uh, bullish stuff going on here for this gold market I don't know what Gold's probably going to go with it, also, obviously. Right. Uh, but uh, I think the gold stocks are are, are going to start outperforming gold here, and gold's kind of been leading the uh, uh, gold equity market for a while. I think yes. that's going to reverse. So there's uh, at least a fifty percent move, or a little bit better than that, uh, right in front of us. So uh, will the stock, other equity market perform the S and P's? I'm not for sure, but this market looks pretty solid. I'll right. put it that way. So, yeah, that'd be yeah, that's why I wanted to get to point that out. So this is in development, but there's a lot of type, a lot of different type of buy signals that are forming on GDX uh, over the last year, and, and they keep uh, flipping to to buy signals. I got on a short term basis, I got three different type bicycles so the short term right. low we had here November 15th at a worst case scenario I guess there's a chance we could test that but that would be the worst case we're not breaking down here we're, we're performing on bottom and that what we think could probably have already turned the corner to the upside absolutely yeah it'd be nice to see some life kind of like breathe back into it I mean you know earlier this year so, some of the monitors have done like exceptionally well um, you know I see the GDX kind of get back up there and, and make these massive yep. moves Tim Thank you so much. I know we're not going to have you on Thursday since it's Thanksgiving, but wishing you a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you uh, Tuesday in December. All right. Wish you happy uh, Thanksgiving, too. See you next uh, see you next week. Absolutely. Tim, thank you so much. Folks, make sure to go to ord-oracle.com. Got to check it out. Be right back.